Hello, my name is Emily. Thank you for joining me for some gentle yoga in a chair. To begin with, let's talk about props. So I always like to grab some blocks or a rolled up towel or a blanket. Now, if you're on the smaller side, the blocks or the towel or the blanket can be placed under your feet to bring your feet up a little bit more. And then in that manner, you can have a 90 degree angle while you're sitting in your chair and even being able to press against the back of your chair. Um, also, if you're on the taller side, you may want to put a blanket or a towel under your hips to bring you up. Again, looking for that 90 degree angle in your legs. Also, we want to get our legs situated, but we can use our towel or blanket for folding or bending over. And even for a final relaxing pose, if it feels good to give you a little neck support. So go ahead and get some props for under your feet. And I would suggest at least one more blanket or towel for bending over or for your neck if you would like. Also, we're going to do this without music today. So if you feel like you'd like some music, I'll invite you to play the music of your choice. Now for yoga, it's very important to move with your body and to do what feels best for your body. And you will know that better than anyone. So if at any time, if what I'm suggesting feels like it's a little too much, or if it feels uncomfortable, then, then I'll trust you to make the judgment and perhaps experiment moving your body in another way, or, or just refrain from doing the movement. So to begin with, we'll just start with a little centering, focusing on our breath, then move through the body, connecting our body and our movement with our breath. A little sun salutation. And then I'd like to show you some new breathing. And we'll end there. So to begin with, let's get all of our props set in whatever manner you need them to be to be most comfortable. Legs are parallel, knees, 90 degree angle. If it feels a little unsteady, I can slide out my toes a little bit so I can catch myself if I feel like I might fall out of my chair. Also, if your arm, excuse me, if your chair doesn't have arms, that's recommended just so you have full range of motion. All right, so let's get ourselves settled, comfortable in a chair. Knees, 90 degree angle, and we're just ah, coming into a relaxed position. Let's find some length through our spine, rising, raising our heads towards the sky. If you find that your chin comes up as well, you can slightly lower your chin. If it feels good, I invite you to close your eyes. a moment to listen to your surroundings, becoming aware of any noises, any movement, and allow that movement or the noises to help you come back to your breathing. Now turning your vision inwards, take a moment to connect with your breath, connect with your body. And we'll focus on our breathing. If it feels good, feel free to put a hand on your belly. We're just focusing on really working our diaphragm so that when we're breathing in, we're contracting the muscle and our belly is coming out, 
And then when we're exhaling, our belly is just relaxing, relaxing through the diaphragm. Let's try that together. Hand on the belly, breathing in. Go ahead and bring your breathing back to normal, bringing the hand over, bringing the hand over to your thigh if it was on your belly. And for today, I'd like to take a moment to focus on an intention. There's something you'd like to invite into your life. For me, I'd like to work on balance. I find when I have lots of time on my hand that I become even more lethargic. Or when I'm extremely busy and overbooked, I become inexplicably, inexplicably even busier and book myself so that I'm just always rushing. So I'd like to strike a nice balance there. And for you, go ahead and think about how you might invite something into your life. Perhaps it's balance. Perhaps joy or ease, whatever it may be, and hold it in your mind's eye. And when you're ready, gently open the eyes and start with some movement. So on the inhale, let's float our arms up over the head, relaxing shoulders, exhale, bringing arms down, inhale, floating up, exhale, down, inhale, up, Exhale down. On the next inhale, we'll just bring one arm up. Relaxing that shoulder. And exhale down. Opposite side. Down. Let's go. Opposite side. three big shoulder shrugs. So let's inhale, bring your shoulders up, and exhale to the side. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhaling. Let's inhale, arms open, and hug. Now this time, inhaling open, opposite hand on the top. Inhaling, and again, switching arm. And switching. Last set. Good, inhale. Hands come down to side, inhale. Just finding length through the spine and exhale, dropping the chin to chest. Inhale, let's bring the chin to one side and exhale, bringing chin to center. Inhaling to the opposite side and exhale, coming to center. Inhale.
Coming center, last set, inhale. Let's inhale, coming up, and exhale, just relaxing. Let's inhale, finding length through our spine, hands coming onto your thighs or holding your chair. Now on this inhale, rolling shoulders back, bringing chest forward, finding arch with your spine, and exhale, rolling shoulders forward, back pressing into the chair, Cat, cat pose. So inhale for opening. Exhale, closing, making a C with our body. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming up. And exhale, relaxing. Now for the next one, let's work on our wrists. And we'd like to give you a couple options. If it feels good, you can hang your wrists here. Option two. Your arms can be close to your body, or option three, for a little more strength through your shoulders and your arms, you can bring your arms straight out. Whatever option feels good, I'll let you choose. So if you feel here, here, or here, then open your hands up, spreading your fingers wide like a web, inhaling here, and then exhaling, <sighs> curling the fingers like little paws and bringing them down. So inhaling, exhaling, maybe here, inhaling, exhaling, or maybe here, inhaling, opening through a web, and exhaling. Good. Now let's bring our hands into wrist circles. direction. Let's take one more breath here. Good. And then resting your hands on your knees, moving down to our ankles. So if it feels good, we can gently bring the leg out. We're going to do the same thing, so inhaling, trying to stretch our toes, and then exhaling, curling our toes. Or, right, so I can have my heel on my block, on the ground, whatever I need for that support. Or if you'd like, you can go ahead to support yourself under your thigh, up above your knee. Or if it feels good, you can bring, you can engage your thigh bringing your toes to the ground, or excuse me, your foot parallel with the ground. There's two different options. So go ahead and get set in whichever manner you think would feel good for you. I'm going to go here. I might have to scoot up a little bit so that I'm comfortably on my block. And let's inhale, bringing your toes up towards the sky. If you can, opening them wide. And then exhale, curling them and pointing your toe. Inhale, stretching them, and exhale, pointing them. Inhale, stretching, and exhale, pointing. Nice. Now let's do three breaths on the opposite side. Getting so that you're comfortable. Again, perhaps you're here, supported or engaged, whichever way feels good for you. Let's inhale, bring your toes up, opening them wide, and exhale, curling and pointing. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, and exhaling, curling down. Good. And now at this point, I'll invite you to go back to your first foot. Take some ankle circles. Ooh, excuse me for the snap, crackle, and popping. Go opposite direction. And then relax. Now 
to do the opposite foot. Inhaling. direction. Remember to breathe. And dropping the foot down. So we're going to reset, bring my blocks back towards my body so that my knees are parallel, toes are parallel. We're in a 90 degree angle. Also, we're going to move into sun salutations. We'll be bending over a little bit. So if it would feel good to have some support as you bend forward, feel free to grab your blanket or your towel. And you can put it here so that when you hinge, you have some added support. If it feels good for you, being able to bring your chest towards your knees, you feel like you don't need that support, and that's absolutely perfect. So for the sun salutation, we're connecting our breath with our movement and flowing. All right, so Tadasana is mountain pose. Shoulders are down and relaxed. Arms by our sides, palms facing forward. Spine poised to the sky. Good, let's breathe here. Let's inhale, bringing our arms up over our head and exhaling down to the side. Inhaling, coming up over our head and exhale, starting to hinge at the hips, coming down as far as what's comfortable for you. If it feels good, relax your neck down. Inhaling, gently looking up. And exhaling, sinking deeper. Inhaling, slowly coming up. Bringing the arms over the head. Exhaling, bringing the hands to the side of the chair, either grasping the chair or perhaps on your lap for some more cat and cow. So inhaling, opening through the chest, shoulders roll back. If it feels good, chin can come up. Exhaling, belly coming in, perhaps the back's pressing against the back of your chair. Inhaling, opening. Exhaling, pushing back. Last one, inhaling, opening. And exhaling, pushing your back against the chair. Good. Inhaling, coming to neutral position. And exhaling, relaxing. Let's inhale, arms coming up. And exhale, bringing my hands on either side of my knee. All right, so behind my knee, under the thigh. And perhaps on the inhale, I bring my heel up. Perhaps the foot comes completely off the block. Whatever feels good for you is what we'll do. So we inhale, exhale, coming behind the leg to clasp. Inhale, floating the leg, finding engagement through the thigh, and coming down. Just relaxing the hands, coming up for the opposite side. And scooping the opposite leg. Inhale, bringing the leg up, perhaps heels floating, perhaps the legs floating, but engaging through our thigh. Exhaling, coming down. Awesome. Let's take one more breath on each side. Inhaling, exhaling, scooping behind our leg. Inhaling, floating the leg up. Bringing the leg down. Inhaling, arms coming up. And exhaling. 
Coming down, inhaling, floating leg up. And exhaling, coming down. Let's reset. Inhaling, coming up. And then exhaling. Hands coming to my knees. So once again, I'm going to bring you into a resting pose called Shavasana. If you feel like you'd like a prop, a blanket or towel to wrap around your neck to support your neck, go ahead and grab that now. If you feel like you'd prefer to sit, bringing your chin to your chest, go ahead and do that. Or if you'd even like to move onto the floor and just open up and relax, feel free to do that as well. So I'll invite you to get into the position that's most comfortable for you. Let's see how my roll is. <sighs> so for Shavasana, we'll go ahead, check in with your body, take any movements that you need to, if you feel like you're comfortable. Check in with your feet, making sure they're grounded, your legs are parallel, right from your feet all the way through your knees. They're about shoulder width apart, shoulders. Imagine just relaxing them down, shoulder blades coming down your spine. And if it feels good, you can drop your chin, or if you prefer, you can use your blanket to drop your head to either side. If you'd like, your hands can be palms down on your legs. If it feels better, palms up. Or if you'd like to hang, <sighs> feel free to hang here. If you're laying on the floor, just invite your body to completely relax and even imagine bringing your shoulders up and down. And let's soften our gaze, perhaps bringing your eyes to a close. In your breath. Let's take one deep breath in. And then release. Another deep breath in. And release. Just imagine that on each inhale, we're breathing in, just a revitalizing energy. And then on each exhale, just relaxing even deeper. Feel free to move your body if you must, if you'd like to. Just getting really comfortable with your, the position you're in. And allow yourself to relax. If at any time different thoughts come into your mind, you can acknowledge them and then let them go. Come back to your breathing and try to relax even deeper. Back to the breathing. Inhaling through the nose, and perhaps exhaling through the mouth. Eyes are gently closed. Bow with you for a few moments to connect with your breath and to connect with your body. In whichever way feels the most harmonious, balanced, and beneficial for you. Let's come back to this room by bringing some movement 
into the body, wiggling the toes, wiggling your fingers. If it feels good and if you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. You're sitting in the chair. Feel free to drop your blanket if you have a blanket. Just relaxing even more in your chair. If you're on the floor, go ahead and roll over onto your right side, bringing your left palm to the ground in front of your heart. And we'll inhale together. And exhale. Now if you're on the floor with the palm on the ground, we'll inhale, gathering energy under the palm. And then exhale, pushing into that left hand, bringing your body into a comfortable seated position. So at the beginning of the practice, I had mentioned bringing more balance into my life. So I'd like to show you a rather balancing cleansing breath, that is, it's alternate nostril breathing. So it might feel a little awkward at first, but we'll give it a go. I do want to say if it feels uncomfortable or if you start feeling short of breath, uh, we'll, we'll just resume normal breathing. So let's give it a try. So feel free to use either hand. And you can either, you can drop your pointer finger and middle finger and you can use your thumb and ring finger as a means to blocking each nostril. If that doesn't feel good, you can change hands or feel free to use your thumb and your pointer finger as a way to block your, your nostrils. So for nostril breathing, we would exhale on one nostril, inhale on the same nostril, block, and then exhale on the opposite nostril, Inhale on that same nostril, block, exhaling, inhaling, blocking, opposite side, exhaling, inhaling, opposite side. So if that feels comfortable, let's give it a try. So we'll just place our hand over your nose. Well, excuse me, with fingers on either side of the nose without blocking your nostrils. Let's inhale together. And exhale here. So we'll inhale and then block the right nostril. Exhaling left. Inhaling left. Blocking left. Now exhaling right. Inhaling right. Blocking right. Exhaling left. Inhaling left. Blocking left. Exhaling right. Inhaling right. Blocking right. Exhaling left. Drop the hand and exhale. Good. Let's take one big breath together. And exhale through the mouth. Let's inhale, arms coming up over the head. And exhale, bringing the hands together in front of the heart. We'll inhale here. May you walk throughout this week finding balance, peace, and ease. Namaste.